Vegetarians, are you getting your daily protein intake? The main source of protein in most typical diets is meat. So, how is it possible for vegetarians and vegans to get enough protein in their diets? Of course, a vegetarian is just a catch-all phrase for any number of dietary philosophies. Flexitarians consider themselves vegetarians, but they will occasionally eat some kinds of meat, such as fish. Over lacto vegetarians do not eat meat at all, but they have no problem eating dairy or eggs. Vegans follow the strictest diets refuse to eat anything derived from animal sources. Parents of children who decide to become vegetarians often worry about how to give their children the nutrition they need to grow. The answer to how a vegetarian can get enough protein is variety. Protein basics, protein comes in two basic types, complete and incomplete. What makes a protein complete is determined by the amino acids that make up its composition. There are about 20 amino acids, and 8 of them are determined essential, because they need to be consumed in food or supplements, a human body cannot make these proteins on its own. Children require an additional amino acid, histidine, but most adults can synthesize this one in their bodies. When a protein has all eight of the essential amino acids, lysine valine, isoleucine, leucine, tryptophan phenylalanine, methanine, and threonine, it is considered to be a complete protein. If it lacks any of the above, it is incomplete. There is only one complete plant protein, and that is soy. Such foods as grains, nuts and seeds, for example, are missing isoleucine and lysine, while legumes are lacking in tryptophan and methanine. Amino acids can be broken down into chains of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen called peptides. On average, proteins contain more than 500 amino acids. Digestion breaks these down into the basic 20, which the body uses for a number of functions, including regulating sleep, neurotransmission, digestion and the formation of RNA and DNA. When there is a concern about getting enough protein from food sources, there are always supplements to consider. This is an easy way to get any nutrients you might be missing for whatever reason. Protein supplements come in many forms, including liquid protein shots, protein powders, protein shakes or smoothies, and even pudding and protein bars. There is something for even the strictest vegan, though they will have to pick carefully to make sure there is nothing that breaks any dietary restrictions. Some protein supplements contain collagen, which is made from animals. Others contain caseinate or whey, which are both extracted from milk or cheese. How much protein do you need? A vegetarian diet can be adequate in terms of getting just the right amount of protein without eating too much. Just like most other nutrients, having too much protein can lead to problems. A simple formula can determine how much protein any given adult might need. Divide your weight in pounds by 2.2 to find your weight in kilograms. Multiply that by 0.8 to find out how many grams of protein you need every day. The exact amount varies, depending upon your lifestyle. Someone who does not do a lot of exercise will need only about 0.4 grams of protein per kilogram of weight. People who engage in regular light exercise will need from about 0.5 to 0.8. Those who are very active and exercise frequently may need as much as 1 gram per kilogram of weight. Bodybuilders are at the top with a need for 1.2 to 1.5 grams. Whatever the case, the amount of protein you take should not be more than 35% of your total daily calories. Because protein helps with muscle recovery, those who are suffering from certain illnesses, or who are healing from certain traumas or surgery may need a bit more protein than usual, until they are well. Pregnant or nursing women need more protein than most to create new blood cells and support the growth of the baby. They may need at least 60 grams of protein daily. Lactating women need around 20 grams more than they usually would until the baby stops nursing. Children often need more protein until they reach about 19 years old. Very young infants also need extra protein, about 2.2 grams of protein for each kilogram of body weight. Vegetarians may have trouble getting enough protein, but the rest of the population sometimes has a difficulty avoiding too much protein. This can be a problem for diabetics, or for people with kidney disease or Parkinson's disease. Excess protein can also contribute to the development of osteoporosis in those who have risk factors for it. It can also lead to kidney stones and gall stones. How much protein do vegetarians typically get? Though the limit is 35%, most get about 14 to 18% of their calories from protein, which is perfectly fine. Vegans typically get about 10% to 12% of their calories from protein. Over lacto vegetarians or flexitarians will get more protein, of course. But even strict vegans will get enough protein with a varied diet. If there is still a concern, especially with parents of vegetarian children, consult a pediatrician, dietitian, or nutritionist to find out how to have a balanced diet while abiding by dietary restrictions. Even if you are an adult and fully aware of the consequences of your choices, it's a good idea to read as much material as you can on changing your diet and what you'll need to remain healthy. There is nothing stopping anyone following a reasonable vegetarian diet from getting all of their necessary nutrition.
Taking protein supplements is another great way of adding protein to your diet. Profect from Potica is a liquid supplement that provides 25 grams of protein in less than 3 fluid ounces. As an added bonus, it only has 100 calories. It also provides essential vitamins such as vitamin C and the B-complex vitamins. Yet another protein supplement to try is all-natural process. Both these supplements are available in several delicious flavors.